asked what to do if I opened a spam email attachment. If you've accidentally opened a spam email attachment, you're probably wondering what to do next. Let's break it down step by step to help you stay safe. First, stay calm. Panicking can lead to more mistakes, so take a deep breath and follow these steps carefully. Immediate actions. If you've opened the attachment, the first thing to do is to go offline. This means turning off your router, setting your device to airplane mode, or disconnecting from the internet. This will prevent any potential malware from spreading to other devices on your network. Next, close all your browsers and tabs. This is crucial because if you clicked on any links within the email, you might have inadvertently opened malicious websites. Scanning for malware. Use anti-malware software to scan your device for any viruses or malware that might have been downloaded. Make sure your antivirus software is up to date as this will help detect the latest threats. Save any suspicious files to your computer and manually scan them before opening them. Reporting the incident. Mark the email as spam in your email client. This helps your email provider to better filter out similar emails in the future. Report the phishing attempt to your email host, the Federal Trade Commission, FTC, and the Better Business Bureau Scam Tracker. Cleaning up. Delete the email and empty your email trash folder. Block the sender to prevent further emails from them. Clear your browser's cache to ensure you don't accidentally visit the same scam link again. Additional precautions. If you suspect your device has been compromised, stop any online activities that involve sensitive information, such as online shopping or banking, until you're sure your device is clean. Change all your usernames and passwords, especially if you entered any information after opening the attachment. Back up all your files to ensure you don't lose any important data. Verifying legitimacy. In the future, be more cautious with emails. Check if the sender is familiar and if the email address matches the sender's name. Look for spelling and grammar mistakes, which are often signs of phishing emails. If the email asks for personal or account information, it's likely a scam. Also, hover over links to see if the URL matches the description before clicking on them. By following these steps, you can minimize the damage and protect your device and personal information from potential threats. Remember, it's always better to be safe than sorry when dealing with suspicious emails.